Jurisdiction Part 3 Court of Tax Appeals Pag pinag-uusapan ang Court of Tax Appeals, these are the applicable laws. You have Republic Act Number no. 1125, an act creating the Court of Tax Appeals. This law took effect in 1954. And then you have Republic Act Number no. 3457, an act to amend Section 1 of RA Number no. 1125. This law took effect in 1962. And then you have Republic Act Number no. 9282, an act expanding the jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals. This law also took effect in 2004. And then you have Republic Act Number no. 9503, an act enlarging the organizational structure of the Court of Tax Appeals. Republic Act Number no. 9507 took effect in 2008. And since we are going to discuss in detail the jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals, oh, by the way, I will include in my discussion the procedure para mas lalo ninyong maintindihan ang jurisdiction. So, we, you have to read also Admin Matter Number no. 05-11-07. What is this? This is your revised rules of the Court of Tax Appeals or your RRCTA. Again, this is your revised rules of the Court of Tax Appeals. If you are going to read Section 8 of Republic 11, 1125, very clear that the Court of Tax Appeals has that power to promulgate rules and regulations for the conduct of the business of the court. And because of this section, this is the reason why the Court of Tax Appeals adopted and promulgated this revised rules of the CTA. Before we proceed to the jurisdiction, take note that your Court of Tax Appeals is of the same level as the Court of Appeals. Again, just like your Sandigan Bayan, your CTA is of the same level as the Court of Appeals. Next, your Court of Tax Appeals sits in bank or in division. And what is the composition of the Court of Tax Appeals? You have a presiding justice and eight associate justices. So what is the total? Nine. So there are nine. How about if the Court of Tax Appeals is in division? There are three divisions and each division consists of three justices. So three divisions times three justices, total is nine. Who shall serve as the chairman of the division? Answer is the presiding justice and the two most senior associate justices. So they shall serve as chairman of the three divisions. How about the rest? They shall serve as members of the divisions. We'll go now to the jurisdiction. Take note that your Court of Tax Appeals in Bank has an exclusive original jurisdiction. It also has an exclusive appellate jurisdiction. How about your CTA division? Meron din bang exclusive original jurisdiction? Answer is yes. Meron ding exclusive appellate jurisdiction ang CTA division. So we begin with the CTA division, but take note here that the CTA division is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. So merong dalawa. First is your tax collection case. Very clear under Section 3, Rule 4 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals. This is your C, uh, C number 1. The courts in divisions shall exercise exclusive original jurisdiction in tax collection cases original jurisdiction in tax collection cases involving final and executory assessments for taxes fees charges and penalties where the principal amount of taxes and fees claimed is 1 million pesos or more take note ha the amount is 1 million pesos or more and you do not include in determining the amount, the charges and penalties. Hindi kasama. Ang isasama lang is the principal amount of taxes 
and fees. What else? You have criminal offense. Again, in Section 3 of Rule 4, Letter B, number 1, is very clear that the CTA division has original jurisdiction over all criminal offenses arising from violations of the NIRC, the Tariff and Customs Code, or other laws administered by the BIR or the Bureau of Customs where the principal amount of taxes and fees claimed again is 1 million pesos or more. In determining again the amount, do not include the charges and penalties. Ang isasama lang is the taxes and fees. If you're not happy with the decision of the CTA division, what is your next move? You need to file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. That is very clear according to Section 1 of Rule 15 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals. I will be discussing this later in the next slide. Preliminary muna tayo. What is the period? The period is 15 days. 15 days from when? 15 days from the date he received the notice of the, of the decision, resolution, or order of the court in question. So if there is now a decision on the motion for new trial filed or a decision on the motion for reconsideration filed over your tax collection case or your criminal offense, what is the next step? Where are you going to appeal? Answer is Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Very clear according to Section 2, Rule 4, that the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction. So we are done with the exclusive original jurisdiction of the CTA in division. Next topic is RTC. But take note here that the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. Ano ang ibig sabihin niyan? The case was originally filed in the MTC and you are not happy with the decision of the MTC judge saan ang akyat mo? Ang akyat is with the RTC. That is the reason why the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. So what are those cases? Number one, you have again your tax collection case. Pag ang value, if the amount claimed is less than 1 million pesos in your tax collection case, sino ang may jurisdiction? Depende. RTC or MTC, depende kung pasok sa jurisdictional amount ng bawat courts. So kung yung value is pasok sa MTC, then it should be originally filed in the MTC, iaakyat mo ngayon sa RTC. Next, your criminal offense. Criminal offense arising from violations of the NIRC or the Tariff and Customs Codes and other laws. If the value again is less than 1 million pesos, sino ang may jurisdiction? RTC or MTC depending on the jurisdictional amount. If the amount is within the jurisdiction of the MTC, you should file it there and then iaakyat mo sa RTC. Next is your local tax cases. Take note ha, sa local tax cases, ang may jurisdiction lang is RTC or MTC depending on the amount. Si Court of Tax Appeals in Division, walang jurisdiction sa local tax cases. Take note of that. So from MTC, originally filed in the MTC, ang akyat mo sa RTC, the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. If you are not happy with the decision, where do you go next? What is your next step? Go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Again ha, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Hindi ka pupunta sa Court of Tax Appeals in Division, but to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Basis is 
Section 2 of your Rule 4 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals. Very clear that the court in bank shall exercise exclusive appellate decision of uh, appellate jurisdiction from the decisions, resolutions, or orders of the RTC in tax collection cases decided by them in the exercise of their appellate jurisdiction. That is also true when you talk about the criminal offenses decided by the RTC in the exercise of their appellate jurisdiction, that is letter H and letter B in local tax cases decided by the RTC in the exercise of their appellate jurisdiction. What else? You have the decisions of the Central Board of Assessment Appeals. If you are not happy with the decisions of the CBAA, where do you go next? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Very clear under Section 2, Rule 4 of your RRCTA, the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decision of the Central Board of Assessment Appeals in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction over cases involving the assessment and taxation of real property originally decided by the Provincial Board of Assessment Appeals or the City Board of Assessment Appeals. So let's just summarize. The Court of Tax Appeals is sitting in division, but the CTA in division is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction over tax collection case and criminal offense. Take note that the amount claimed here is 1 million pesos or more. So saan ka pupunta? Ano ang gagawin mo? First, you need to file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. And if there is now a decision on the motion for new trial filed or a decision on the motion for reconsideration filed, then that is the time that you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Take note ha, yung decision sa motion for new trial, yung decision ng motion for reconsideration, yun ang iaakyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Next. RTC. The RTC here is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. So since it is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, saan ang punta mo next? Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Next, the Central Board of Assessment Appeals. If, not, if you are not happy with the decision, where do you go next? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. If hindi ka pa rin masaya sa decision ng Court of Tax Appeals in Bank, then what is your next step? You go to the Supreme Court. But how do you go to the Supreme Court? That is Rule 45. Petition for review on certiorari, the period is 15 days. What is our basis? Rule 16, Section 1 of RRCTA, very clear. You must file with the Supreme Court a verified petition for review on certiorari within 15 days. 15 days is counted from when? From receipt of a copy of the decision or resolution. You read also Section 2. Section 2 says that if you are going to file a motion for reconsideration or if you are going to file a motion for new trial in the Court of Tax Appeals, but during the pendency of that MR or motion for new trial, you filed an appeal to the Supreme Court, what is the effect? It shall be deemed abandoned. Take note of that. 1994, bar exam question, you state the steps for bringing up to the Supreme Court a decision of the Board of Assessment Appeals of the province of Rizal. So, what is the answer? From the Provincial Board of Assessment Appeals, where do you go next? You go to the CBEA. And from CBEA, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. And from there, you go to the Supreme Court via Rule 45, Petition for Review on Certiorari or Appeal by Certiorari. The period is 15 days. Next, you have the decision of the RTC. The decision is concerning a tax collection case 
a criminal offense or a local tax case. But take note ha, that the RTC here is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. The RTC is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. And where do you go next? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. And since you are going to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division, the CTA in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. What is our basis? That is very clear according to your Section 3, Rule 4 of the RRCTA. The Court of Tax Appeals in Divisions shall exercise exclusive appellate jurisdiction over appeals from the judgment, resolutions, or orders of the RTC in tax collection cases originally decided by them. Also, the Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction over appeals from the judgment, resolutions, or orders of the RTC in their original jurisdiction in criminal offenses and the RTC and the court in division, court of tax appeals in division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review the decisions, resolutions, or orders of the RTC in local tax cases decided by them in the exercise of their original jurisdiction. So aside from the decisions of the RTC, take note that the RTC is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. What else? You have the BIR. Sino ba ang head sa BIR? That is your commissioner. So if you're not happy with the decisions of the Commissioner of Internal Revenue involving disputed assessment, refunds of internal revenue taxes, fees or other charges, or penalties in relation thereto, or involving other matters arising, the, arising under the NIRC or other laws administered by the BIR, saan ang punta mo? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. The Court of Tax Appeals in Division here is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. This is very clear according to your Section 3, of Rule 4 of the RRCTA, the Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decision of the CIR. Still in BIR, so aside from the decisions of the Commissioner of Internal Revenue, what else? You have the an action by the Commissioner of Internal Revenue in cases involving the same paren, yung disputed assessments, refunds of internal revenue taxes, fees or other charges, penalties in relation thereto, or other matters arising under the NIRC or other laws administered by the BIR. So, saan ang punta in these two cases? You go to Court of Tax Appeals in Division. Again, ha, the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. What is our basis? Rule 4, Section 3, very clear that the Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decision of the CIR and the inaction by the CIR. So, tapos na tayo sa RTC and BIR. What else? You have the Bureau of Customs. Sino ang head sa Bureau of Customs? You have the Commissioner. So, if there is a decision of the Commissioner of Customs in cases involving custom duties, fees, or other money charges, seizure, detention, or release of property affected, fines for features or uh, of other penalties in relation thereto or other matters arising under the customs law or other laws administered by the Bureau of Customs, saan ang punta again? Ang punta mo is to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. 
Again ha, again, paulit-ulit, the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. What is our basis? Section 3, Rule 4 is very clear. The Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decisions of the Commissioner of Costumes. So we are done with the RTC. The RTC is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction as well as the decisions rendered by the Commissioner of the BIR and the Commissioner of the Bureau of Customs. So next is the DOF or the Department of Finance. Sino ba ang head dito? That is your secretary. So if there is a decision rendered by the Secretary of Finance on custom cases, customs cases elevated to him automatically for, for review from decisions of the commissioners of customs, then saan ka aakyat, iaakyat mo ngayon yan sa Court of Tax Appeals in Division. And take note, ha? take note that the CTA in Division here is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. What is our basis? That is very clear again, according to Section 3, Rule 4, that the Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decisions of the Secretary of Finance. So next, aside from the Department of Finance, you also have the DTI or the Department of Trade and Industry and you have the Department of Agriculture. So sino ang heads dito? You have the Secretary. So the decisions of the Secretary of the Trade and Industry in cases of non-agricultural product, commodity or article or the decisions of the Secretary of Agriculture in the case of agricultural product, commodity, or article, saan ka ngayon tatakbo? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. And again, the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. The basis is Section 4, Section 3 rather, of Rule 4 of the RRCTA. The Court of Tax Appeals in Division exercises exclusive appellate jurisdiction to review by appeal the decisions of the Secretary of the DTI and the decision of the Secretary of the Department of Agriculture. So to summarize what we discussed, the decision of the RTC in your tax collection case and the decision of the RTC in criminal offense, take note ha, the amount claimed here is less than 1 million pesos. Kasi pag 1 million pesos yan or more, ang my jurisdiction is the CTA in division. What else? The decision of the RTC in local tax cases. Sa local tax cases, hindi mo ia-apply ang 1 million pesos. So the RTC here is exercising in its original jurisdiction. Sino pa? The BIR and the Bureau of Customs who are the heads, the commissioners. So the decisions of the commissioners of the BIR, the decisions of the commissioner of the Bureau of Customs, who else? The decisions of the Secretary of the Department of Finance, the decision of the Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry, and the decision of the Secretary of the Department of Agriculture, lahat yan saan ka pupunta, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. You Again, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. Take note that the CTA in Division here is in or is exercising its appellate jurisdiction. And from the Court of Tax Appeals in Division, where do you go next? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. But can you go directly to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank? Answer is definitely no. Bakit? You need to file first a motion for new trial 
or a motion for reconsideration. That is a must. That is a sine qua non condition under Rule 8, Section 1 of RRCTA. It must be preceded by the filing of a timely motion for reconsideration or new trial. Where do you file your motion for new trial or motion for reconsideration? With the division or with the Court of Tax Appeals in division. What is the period? The period is 15 days basis is Rule 15, Section 1. You file your motion for recon or new trial within 15 days from the date you receive the notice of the decision, resolution, or order of the court in question. So again, ha, you need to file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. That is a must, that is a sine qua non condition. And yung decision sa motion for new trial or yung decision sa motion for reconsideration, yan ang iaapkyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in back. What is the basis? If you read Section 2, Rule 3 of the rules, of the revised rules of the Court of Tax Appeals, very clear yan na ang iaakyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank is the decision or resolutions on the motions for reconsideration or the motion for new trial rendered by the Court in Division or rendered by the CTA in Division in the exercise of its exclusive appellate jurisdiction. So again ha, the, ang iaakyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank is the decision, the resolution, or the orders on the motions for reconsiderations or new trial.